Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and... Better give it Emmy her hot minute Otherwise she'll get cranky Like last week I forgot to put her in the video Oops No really wanna know Where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere Hi all, welcome back to the channel um, This is a big week and it's a, if you're ever going to watch one of these videos, you need to watch this one if you're going to Tasmania. Or even if you're not, just do it for the sake of beauty. Um, it's been a bit of a week and there has been some huge highlights and some downs. Um, but just to give you a little bit of backstory, this is Bruni Island. I went over on the ferry to go and see Bruni Island for a few days. Unfortunately, I had a bit of a medical emergency and I had to leave. Um, but I only got a... Uh, one day I think on the island um, traveling on the island as in having a look around um, it, it is a lovely little spot I really don't know what else to say because it, it was a bit of a horror experience for me but um, nothing to do with the island but yeah so you may want to check it out it's it's kind of fun the ferry's really cool um, yeah and there's plenty to see lots of vineyards and stuff I did go out that one day and I went and saw the lighthouse and Adventure Bay but that was it um, yeah so I do actually recommend it so uh, give it a go if you've got the time uh, the next place I went to um, was Eagle Hawk Neck um, basically it was heading my way down for the footage for the Tasman cruise um, and this is Fossil Bay Lookout now next to it also or at, at the same car park basically is a uh, blowhole but you need to hit it at high tide so I missed it um, there was no I even actually did go back and then and still was still too early so you need to hit it bang on high tide and apparently it's extraordinary but um, it's not very extraordinary if you don't hit it on high tide <laughs> anyway uh, the fossil lookout was really well worth the trip and the reason I'm giving you this one although it doesn't look very exciting is the next one is the tessellated pavements it blew my mind um, go in the golden hour any golden hour in the morning or in the evening um, that's for photography purposes that's basically sun up or sun down um, and I got there just as sun was going down so took the drone footage first so you could sort of see it and then you'll see in the photos it progressively got darker now um, yeah I'll just leave you with the footage This is the Tasman Cruise. Um, it is Pennycott Wilderness Journeys. Um, it cost me at the time an adult 145, I think something around there. Um, I would have paid a thousand dollars for it, to be honest. Um, it was the most amazing experience I have had on like a touristy sort of thing. Um, obviously you've got to pick your day. Um, because you you know like you're on a jet boat so it's pretty fast and it's cold um, so make sure you rug up and um, that you pick a day that it's not sort of too windy it is sensational Nick and his wife I'm so sorry I cannot remember her name 
were brilliant. They were over and above and beyond. They were unbelievable. Now look, this is a lot of footage. It looks like a lot of footage, but the um, cruise actually goes for three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. And trust me, this only touches the surface. Um, I actually took it from land, from sea, and from air for you because it was that good. So please, I'm going to shut up. You enjoy, relax, and just fall in love with the Tasman Peninsula.
enjoyed that footage. There's a lot of work in there and um, I think it's paid off. Anyway, next week on Van, Van Chronicles we visit Port Arthur before we leave uh, the peninsula. Um, and then we will go to Richmond and old Hobart Town to see the cutest little miniature village. Um, it's so sweet. It's a whole um, replication of old Hob Hobart. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. Uh, totally worth going to have a look at. Um, it's, it seems so small when you get there, but you, I spent like hours there. Um, then we're going to go to the Bishno Blowhole and then Halls Falls. Uh, that will round us off and then next, the week after that we're going to take you to the Bay of Fires.